I'm Shannon Curtis, and today I'm on the Vinnie Langdon Show. What's going on everyone? California, what's up? This is Vinny Langdon here in Sacramento with Shannon Curtis. Hi. Oh my gosh, it's like a dream come true. Shut up. I mean, <laughs> okay, so here we go. About four years ago, I was on this thing called MySpace. You heard I, of it? Yeah, have you heard of it? They nodded. They nodded, that yeah. person nodded. Okay. So, and then all of a sudden I was like, okay. I'm running out of ideas for bands on my show. I got all the local people in my hometown of Vacaville. I need to expand. So then all of a sudden I typed in my zip code, put a little 40 mile radius, and Shannon Curtis is number one? What? What? That's what? amazing. What? Oh my gosh, I need to get her on my show. <laughs> and she lived in Sacramento, and then all of a sudden, uh-oh, where'd Shannon go? I moved. You moved? Far, far away. To a galaxy way far away. <laughs> Called Southern California. Called Hollywood, Los Angeles. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there is a lot of uh, aliens and all that stuff it's down true. there. Yeah. There are. They come out at night. But that's okay, because you're back in Sacramento, so she's going to be safe tonight. That's right. I will be okay tonight. Yeah. So what brought you back up here? Oh, what doesn't bring me up here? I love Sacramento. It's my adopted hometown. I will always come back to Sacramento. But I've just been on a six-week tour all around the U.S., and this is the last show. Oh, my gosh. Of the tour. Oh, wow. That's crazy. It's well, like this all is over. Shannon Curtis here on the Vinnie Langdon Show. We're going to be back. We're going to show you a song from her that she performed today. And when we come back, you'll learn all about her after this. I like to think you think of me from time to time And that some of your thoughts are sublime Like portals onto a world that might have been I hope that in those dreams you see a smiling face Where the tears of old are erased Like I do dream of you then I read your name, it sends a wave of shock through my limbs. I hear a song, a time machine takes me back when I shake it off, take a breath like losing you again. I like to think you keep a place hidden in your heart, that now and again when it's dark. You linger on the trace of our time And though I know the light it fades, old movies end Perhaps you rewind now and then Like I do and think of you sometimes Sends a wave of shock through my limbs. I hear a song, a time machine takes me back when I shake it off, take a breath like leaving you again. I like to think you think of me from time to time, and that some of your thoughts are sublime, like I do think of you. Sometimes, well, I do think of you sometimes. I love that song. <laughs> Thank you. It's so good. The lyrics are incredible. <laughs> <laughs> so happy that you liked it. So I know. Great. So tell us, Shannon Curtis, singer-songwriter, when did you start? Um, when did I start becoming a singer-songwriter? Yeah. Uh, I, I started 
toting my piano around and playing love songs for people about three and a half years ago. Three and a half years ago? Yeah, just about. Crazy. Prior to that, um, I had blonde hair and I was in a rock band called Paradigm. Oh. It was like a whole other life. Another and then I was just sort of reborn and, and this is what I do now. So a lot of musicians, when they're in bands and they decide, I'm not getting attention, let me do my own thing, is that how it worked? No, or? that's actually not how it worked. We had a really great run. We did a lot of um, touring in the college market and uh, then a couple of guys in the van started having kids and touring wasn't so attractive anymore. And Also, I started writing more songs on my piano that were going to be more, they were never going to be guitar based rock songs, let's face it. They were going to be sappy piano based love songs and that's just the direction I ended up and going. And the guy said, oh, what are you doing? They're oh. like, yeah, this really isn't our thing. No, they were, they're all, they've all been very supportive of, of what I'm doing now. So. Yeah. So being in Los Angeles, is that a little more advantage for you for being a singer-songwriter, more what? venues, or what's the oh, deal with well, that? Oh, well, certainly venues are a dime a dozen down there. I wouldn't necessarily say that it's a good place to play music, um, but it's a good place to do business with music. So, there, yeah. you know, it's a good place to be if you need to, you know, meet producers or managers or booking agents, you know, that, that kind of thing. But there are so many musicians in L.A. that sometimes it can be a bit... Um, daunting to break into the scene, you know? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Sounds good. So you have a couple albums out, and what's good about you is you're consecutive. You put out an EP every year since you started. I've put out an EP wow. every year since I've started. That's yes. crazy. So tell us the first one. The 2007. first one, 2007, it's called Boomerangs and Seesaws. Uh, the second one, 2008, was called Paris Can't Have You. And the one that I, I released this year is called Why Don't You Stay, and it was just released in July. 2009? Yeah, so not too long ago, and how's the people been responding to it so it's far? It's been great. It's yeah. been really good. And this one was actually a fan-funded album. Like, I had an opportunity to go to Nashville, Tennessee, and do um, my record with this Grammy-winning producer by the name of Charlie Peacock, and I didn't have the cash to do it, and so I put it out to my fans, to, and we, we did like this fundraising effort, and they totally ended up funding my whole recording. Wow. Isn't that awesome? That's nice. Maybe that's what I should do to get sponsors. Like, there you go. Hey, fans, <laughs> you love me so much? Give me some money. Hey, that's how we'll work it. Don't call me when you're lonely. Don't call me when you're blue. If you call me when you're broken hearted, I'm not the girl for you. Don't ask me to come out. Careful how you make your move. Don't call me when you struck out with some other gal you had your eye on. Cause this is not a shoulder to cry on. This is a hand to have and to hold. Get me 
on the line when you're looking for the love of your life. <laughs> Now, Charlie Peacock sounds like a familiar name. Who else has he worked with? Um, he has worked with um, Switchfoot. He may have, he, he, that's what, for whom he won his Grammy, producing the Switchfoot record um, a while back. He's worked with one of my childhood favorites. Um, do you know Amy Grant? Amy who doesn't Grant? know Amy uh, who's Grant? Who's Amy Grant? Oh, come on. Does I anybody know pretend, who Amy Grant is? I don't I know. I used to pretend <laughs> that I was Amy Grant when I was a little girl. I would sing to my hairbrush in the mirror at home. And Anyway, he's, he's co-written a bunch of her hits. And and um, yeah, uh, I'm not sure who else recently that he's worked with, but he's a pretty ubiquitous musician and producer and really talented guy. It was fun to work with him. Yeah, so working with a producer who has a lot of knowledge mm -hmm. versus doing it independent in your house, getting Pro Tools, hooking it up. Yep. I mean, did he go, Shannon, why don't we try to change the song yes. this way or this way? Or yes, that way? he definitely did that. Like, I have this one song that sort of is sort of music boxy and cute, and he just made it like gritty and funky and. It's totally different than the way that I wrote it, but the whole intention of mine and going there was to just sort of hand it over and say, whatever you want to do, and I love the way it turned out. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, have you ever thought about bringing more of that rock and roll back into your music, or? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I don't, what, what I will say is that I would love to play with a band again, because I'm performing solo. Right. I drive around the country in my Volkswagen Jetta, and a band would not fit in my Jetta. <laughs> Um, but my piano does fit in my Jetta, so I can you know, easily go around as a solo artist. That said, I would really like to explore the idea of performing with a band again. Yeah. A backing band, drums, bass, maybe some horns, strings. Why not? Some mandolins? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Get a little Irish out or something, uh -huh. some folk. <laughs> uh huh. That's good. Now, did you like uh, playing here in Sacramento? Did you do a lot of shows? Where, yes. Where have you played? Where have I played? Um, gosh, uh, here at Cesar Chavez Plaza. So I think it's my third or fourth summer out here. Um, and um, Old Ironsides, of course. I used, when I first started playing my solo stuff, I would go to the Old Ironsides open mic every Wednesday night. And Lair, the host there, is just a doll. I love him. And he, you know, let me play as often as I wanted to play and, and it was a really supportive you know group so but I, I have done actual shows there my most recent um, show here in town besides Cesar Chavez was at Harlow's earlier in the summer to kick off my tour they used my song in their show and so I'm very grateful for that <laughs> and uh, this is the song that was in the hills last year it's called before the sun Dreams and limbs entangled in a heap of perfect peace. Hopes awake while fear is fast asleep. But morning is a thief. So before the sun crawls in through the shades, before we remember how to be before it gets too hard to believe, lay here with me. Before we count up what this will cost, before the present to the past is lost, and all that's left is a faint memory, lay here with me. Enemies take what we need and sell well-worn lies I'm my own worst of these I can't say why Cause we leave this room Say goodbye too soon Watch another chance go by So before the sun crawls in through the shade we remember how to be afraid Before it gets too hard to believe Lay here with me Before we count up what this will cost Before the present to the past is lost And all that's left is a faint memory Lay here with me 
miles in through the shade For we remember how to be afraid Before it gets too hard to believe Lay here with me Before we count up what this will cost Before the present to the past is lost Thank you. Now, like I was saying earlier, you got a lot of positive uh, lyrics in your music, and what? Just write straight from the heart, right? You have any influences that you know you think? Ooh. I heard this song on the radio. What if I? No, you want to know? I was talking with someone about this recently, um, a friend of mine who's a screenwriter in LA, and he was telling me how he listens to music and it and sometimes inspires him in writing his screenplays. And I was thinking, you know, I don't really listen to music and get inspired to write music. I read books and get inspired to write music. So it's kind of like, it was opposite for us. He listens to music to get inspired to write. I, I read things. Um, but that said, a lot of the stuff that my that I used to listen to growing up, I listened to a lot of oldies. My dad used to play like 30s and 40s era standards at home. and So that stuff, I think, still resonates with me. Yeah. Not so much the current stuff on the radio. Yeah. So just you and your piano. Mm -hmm. And the crowd. Right. Don't <laughs> forget <it>. them. Yeah. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> So tell us, some of them songs on the upcoming EP that came out in mm -hmm. July, they're doing pretty good. People can get them on Amazon, people can get them people all over the place. People can get them in any web portal you can imagine. You can probably get them, but yeah, iTunes, Amazon, Rhapsody, eMusic, the whole and nine so yards. on. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, Shannon, you're about to play tonight. Mm -hmm. Good luck with everything. Thank you. It's going to be fun. I'm Sacramento. so glad we finally did this. I know. <laughs> There you go. We'll have to do Bands Reunited and we'll have to have Shannon back on the show in the future. Sounds good. So guys, thanks for watching the Vinnie Langdon Show. And if you want more information about Shannon Curtis, you have a website. Oh yeah, shannoncurtis.net. If you go to .com, you're going to find an Australian author of romantic suspense novels. Oh, is that it's where you get not your... Not me. No, no, no. You it's, don't get your influences from not, her? No, no. <laughs> she is not my doppelganger. We are not. Yeah. But shannoncurtis.net is where you'll find me. There you go. Check it out and listen to all her music. It'll be good stuff. Well, we're going to go watch Shannon Curtis perform, so we'll see you guys next time on the show. I don't know where we'll be. Somewhere.